animated saber outline. Perfectly mask out the wheels. Then press them on your keyboard and change mode add to none. Select your mask, right click on it and click on track mask. Start tracking your mask. I prefer and suggest you to make it manually for perfect tracking. Nice. Add a saber effect on the footage. Go to render settings and change composite settings to add. Then open customize core and change core type to layer mask. Saber will be applied to the mask automatically. You can choose any preset you want. I will stay on energize. That's my favorite. Adjust the color and glow settings as you will enjoy it, or you can copy mine. Time to animate saber effect on the wheel. Set keyframes to end offset and start offset. Make sure at the start they have to be both at 0%. Go to the very end of the video and set both values to 100%. Press on U button and move the start offset keyframe a few frames forward. Animation is ready. Let's give it a good look and then smooth out saber motion a bit. Play around this settings or copy mine. Select all keyframes and press F9. Go to Graph Editor, right-click there and select Edit Speed Graph, then adjust a nice curve. You can copy mine. Awesome. The Saber effect is ready. Car Slam effect. Right-click on your video and pre-compose it. Duplicate the layer. Go to Time and select. Freeze Frame. Move the layer to the very bottom and move a few frames backward, two from where you want the effect to start. Cut the duplicated layer at the end of the bottom video. Now select your Roto Brush tool and make a perfect selection of your car. Then press Freeze button. Nice. Let's animate the effect. Press on P on your keyboard and create a keyframe at the end of this layer. Then go to the start of the layer and play around with position. You can keyframe like this, rotations, scale, and so on. Enable motion blur on your timeline. Nice. Select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Go to graph editor and make a nice curve. Cool, I'm happy with my edit. Bonus tip for you. Let's make a shake effect to the second video to make it look more effective. Apply plugin, Twitch, I'll leave download in description. Set the amount 40 and speed 70. Go to enable and select light and slide. Create a keyframe for amount at the start of the video. Go a few frames forward and set the amount to zero. Now that looks amazing. Duplicated car slide effect. Duplicate your footage, then go to Roto Brush Tool and make a nice selection. Press Freeze button. Duplicate the Roto Brush layer. And apply offset to the middle layer. Set the keyframe at the start of the video, then go a few frames forward and move the position of the car like this. Note, as much you move the position, the fast going to be the slide, it's up to you. Press on a U button on your keyboard and move the second keyframe to the end of the video. If the slide seems too slow, move the position as much as you want. Cool. Add CC Force Motion Blur to the layer and set the value to 10. Duplicated car slide effect is ready. Speed ramping effect. Right click on the video, go to time and enable time remapping. Create keyframe at the start and go a few frames forward, for example, where the bass drops and start moving the time. Select both keyframes and press F9. Go to graph editor and right click there and select edit value graph. Make a curve like I do, but feel free to play around with it to understand how it works. Enable frame blending. Cool. Add CC force motion blur and set the value to 15. Pixel glitch ghost effect. Pre-compose the layer. Duplicate it and roto brush the car perfectly. 
press freeze button. Duplicate roto brush layer and apply effect. Turbulent displace on the middle layer. Open the displacement and select turbulent smoother. Set the amount 130. And size 2, complexity 7, hold alt and press on evolution. Right, time 250. Nice. Press P on your keyboard and set the keyframe for position at the start of the video. Go a few frames forward and move the position of the car a bit higher. Change size up to 10. Boom, looks good. Let's animate it. Copy the second keyframe and paste near to the end. Then copy the first keyframe and paste to the very end of the video. Select all keyframes and press F9. Go to Graph Editor and speed ramp them a bit. Looks good, but I will do it in opposite position. So it goes fast, then slows down. Now it looks better, do the same for the ending. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video, please.